Hey everyone, we're the ladies of iBrand Matchmaker International Trade Company. I'm Rain. I'm Sharita. And I'm Toya Marquise. And today we're going to talk to you guys a little about our experience with InterChina. So, um, we have some questions here. Just bear with us. I'm looking down. Mm -hmm. But, uh, okay, so my first question is for Rain. Rain, what were your beliefs about China before you actually went to China? Well, my beliefs about China before I actually went there is pretty much based on um, what I've seen on TV, um, heard people say, or might have even read. Um, but actually getting there, um, actually traveling there rather, um, I realized that it was totally different, you know, but it was a culture shock for us. Um, things were a lot different than we were used to. Um, when it comes to food choices, it's, it's very fast paced. The culture is totally different than it is back in the U.S. So um, there were some frustrations, but at the same time, even though we had some crazy moments, it was like we constantly wanted to continue to go back and go back and go back for more because we were anxious to learn, um, you know, more about the culture and to actually achieve what we came there for, which was to make connections with people and create, create lasting relationships. So it was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. So Toya, yes. what was your experience with China before having a group of people that can help you out in China? Well, uh, my experience with China as a team basically was a lot of head bumping, um, was a lot of losing money, a lot of late hours as we still you know, have now, um, just talking to people behind the screen. So before we actually went to China, we were dealing with factories via websites like Alibaba and um, made in China and it was kind of difficult because you didn't know who you were actually speaking to behind the screen uh, people will sell you so many hopes and dreams and tell you that uh, you know the product is what it is well they would tell you about products and when you receive these products and you pay all this money they're not the product that you paid for so it was just like I said a bunch of blood sweat tears head bumping and a lot of losing money so yes uh, so Sharita how did inner China? How did inner China change your perspective slash belief about China? It actually changed our perspectives because we didn't know that the transitioning from the American way of living to the Chinese way of living would be so easy. I mean, besides the language barrier, that was the only difference. But uh, with resources and people in inner China that was willing to help it made it easier. Okay. So, okay. Uh, thanks, Sharita. Now, Rain, uh, what do you have now that you didn't have before Enter China? Well, I would say um, what we have now is um, a wider range of resources from different people that's um, within this group. So, um, it gives us guidance, you know, and and assistance from people that's in a lot of different areas that we might not have had access to at first. So I think in a China um, is a great thing because it's a great asset for us and you know helps us along the way as we try to experience new things as well. Okay. Oh wow, that's, that was good. <laughs> so Toya, yes. how has in a China helped your business succeed even more? Well, I would say that Inner China has helped our business succeed even more um, because we have, like Rain said, I can pick, piggyback off of that, the, um, the, the group of people that are actually giving us resources, the accountability. Um, it actually helped us maneuver through China a little easier because these people are actually living there and they have the experience and the know-how and they've actually taught us. So I think um, it's actually helped us succeed even more because of just having that that, that accountability group, that mastermind group, um, people that actually hold you accountable, uh, hold you accountable, and um, just people that can help us with resources. So, yeah. So, Sharita, how has Inner China helped you succeed in China? Inner China has helped us succeed in China because we, it's like a family. It's it's a group of people willing to share mm -hmm. 
unapologetically, unselfishly. Mm -hmm. um, they're willing to provide resources. We're we're willing to provide resources now because it's been so long. So now we are experienced as well. So uh, with the resources, the people that's willing to share, um, and the accountability is definitely one number one in our book, and it's definitely helped give us a lot of skin in the game at this point. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. So I guess that concludes our um, inner China questions. I guess uh, we can say individually how uh, what we appreciate about Inner China and what we appreciate about like uh, Luke and Rico and uh, Mike actually uh, taking you know the, 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 the top seats now and um, helping to bring this community together and helping people learn and actually bringing new people in that want to learn about the whole China experience. Well I guess I would say um some of the things that I appreciate about it is that, like we said before, um, people willing to just give so much information without wanting anything back. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just everybody trying to help each other. Oh, yeah. And it's, you know, you can ask a question and before you know it, you got 50 million <laughs> answers. And it's, you know, it just gives you guidance and it helps you. And it also, it gives you encouragement. You know, if it's something that you think that you couldn't do after being in Inner China, you, you know, you, ha you have the inspiration and motivation to help you through whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. So I, I think it's great. It's, oh, yeah. it's awesome. Yeah. My top two things are feedback and collaboration. Oh, yeah. Um, when you have a project that you need feedback on, everybody is willing to give you feedback. Yes. And we're more willing to accept that feedback, not as criticism, but something to help us do better and move forward. And it's um, honest feedback. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. And the ability to be around like-minded people oh, yeah. to collaborate on different projects. Yeah. So um, also investing mm -hmm. as well, investing in each other's um, projects. I yeah. think that's a good thing as well. So keep it going, guys. We we really appreciate yes. you. Yeah. Yep. So uh, I guess that will be it. And we would like to say thank you guys for having us thank on this you. mastermind uh, on this uh, call. And we appreciate it. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Thanks. <laughs>